Fairly soon, there's going to be an Elementor features update for Elementor 2.1. It's not released yet. I'm showing you the beta version in this tutorial. I'm going to show you all the things that Elementor has built into the release 2.1. Some pretty cool stuff. And you'll be getting this as a public version pretty soon. But you can also have this on your testing site if you're a beta developer for Elementor. I show you a different video how to do that. But if you want to see the new features that are coming down the pipe for Elementor, watch this tutorial. We're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress and you like tips and tricks and hacks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then check out our Elementor waiting list. There's a link in the description down below. And I'm thinking of creating just the ultimate Elementor course that shows you how to do everything with Elementor and it's constantly updated because Elementor is constantly updated. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, get on the waiting list, you get more information there and there's no obligation. So if you're on there, it doesn't mean you have to purchase or anything, you're just on the waiting list. Then you can decide later down the road if it's something for you. And with that out of the way, let's head on the screen capture. With the new release of Elementor, the first thing you'll notice is when you hover over any element, you'll see that the menu the, couple, the few buttons that we had are now in the center instead of on the right hand side where they used to be and they also look different. So we have the option now to right click on any of these. So if you right click on them, we see a bunch of options that are specific to Elementor. Now if you want to get your regular right click functionality back, hold down Command or Control, then right click and now we have our regular context menu back. But to use the Elementor specific ones, we can right click on here. And inside of this right click area, we have a few very helpful things like duplicate, which we had before. Before it was an icon that was included in this little menu set. Now it's in this right click menu. Edit section as well, which appears or moves the settings to the left hand side here so you can edit them. Copy is a new one with this release. So with duplicate, you duplicate a section and you drag and drop it to wherever you want on the page. But now we can just click on copy, scroll down to wherever we want it. And then we just go ahead, right click where we want it, click on paste. And now we have that section appear after wherever we paste it. And clearly I pasted just the row or copied just the row. I didn't actually get the blue background. So if you want to get all the stuff that I have up here with the blue background, let's try that again and paste it down here. It always pastes after whatever element you right click on. Now we have our nice blue background there. And we have that complete row copy and pasted to here. Is that a huge design improvement? I think so. I think duplicating and dragging and dropping is a pain. Copying and then pasting where you want it is so much easier. So we also have the option to copy and paste just the styles. So I'm going to try it for this, these menus here. So our pro version here is nice and blue and the standard and advanced are very in the back. They don't really want you to buy that one. They want you to buy the pro. So it really stands out. So I'm going to try just copying the styles. I'm just going to copy from the standard and I'm just going to click on paste style into the pro. And now our pro looks like the standard. I'm going to undo that because it looks terrible. Click on undo down here. Go back to this. I like the pro look. So I'm going to copy that one and paste it for the advanced. That's not what I wanted. I pasted the actual pro block. I just want to paste the style. Let's try it again. Click on paste style. There. Now the advanced has that nice pro looking style. And that's how easy it is to copy and paste styles now with this new release. This is something other builders have had for a while, but now Elementor has them. So that's awesome. Another thing, you can reset the style. So if you're messing around doing a lot of things and you just don't really like where it's going, right click. Click on reset style and this is back to the original element. And then of course undo takes us back to where we were. So that is a great new feature in the new release of Elementor. Something else you can do that's the one step further. Up until now I've shown you how to copy and paste elements and rows and styles and sections within a page. You can copy it from here. Just click on copy and then go to a different page on the same site and paste it in there. It doesn't work on a different site. But a, same, a different page on the same site, you can copy and paste all of those things as well from one page to another, which can make your development a lot easier. Maybe you don't want to save something as a global 
element and you just want to copy and paste it one time maybe and having this global element might clutter up your global library you don't want to do that so you just copy and paste that element super quick and easy you don't have to import export nothing just copy paste something else you'll notice we have these new icons here these used to be called add new section and template but now they're just icons like this and when you hover over them the title may appear yeah add new section appears and template appears they still function the same way they just replace the words with icons another option in the new version of elementor is you can set custom breakpoints breakpoints are where the design changes for different screen sizes so when you have a screen size shrink down to the size of a tablet there's a breakpoint at some number of pixels some width of pixels that then applies to tablet styles another breakpoint for mobile and you can have various breakpoints wherever you want to do this we have to go back to our main dashboard go to elementor click on settings click on style and this is where we can set the width for the breakpoint we have a tablet breakpoint mobile breakpoint you can customize those I'd hope they would have added some more breakpoints because there are different sizes of mobile screen that maybe it's not that important but if you want to get really granular you can target different sizes of mobile screen I've actually had a client in the past who at the time was my boss this is many many years ago who had an old Blackberry that didn't really work on the internet but he wanted everything to look great on his Blackberry and when it looked great on his Blackberry it looked terrible on everything else but he didn't care and there was no breakpoint for his Blackberry so I had to custom code a breakpoint in the website so I could make it look great just on his Blackberry so I was hoping we could do something like that where we can have as many breakpoints as we want but Elementor at least is allowing us right now to do our own custom breakpoints by default this 1025 pixels wide for a tablet 768 pixels wide for a phone at least we can change those two so it's better than nothing it's a start another feature they've added if we go back into the editor and we get our video element drag and drop it here we now have the ability to add daily motion and self-hosted videos I made a video that was released a few days ago that's almost outdated where you can have YouTube and Vimeo embeds that's the previous version the current live version of Elementor now you'll be able to add daily motion and self-hosted and even under YouTube there are more settings now available the modest branding wasn't available before you can actually take off the YouTube logo which wasn't possible before you don't see it on here right now down at the bottom here we can take off let's see let's take off the controls the YouTube logo is gone if we allow well, I'm gonna turn the controls back on I guess we allow modest branding I think we'll allow that YouTube logo to be either on or off so we have our YouTube logo there let's turn modest branding on this is a new option that was not available or is not available in the current live version of of the Elementor YouTube embed but now it is available and the modest branding took off that YouTube logo so now you can remove that YouTube logo which you could, could not do with the current live version you can also add daily motion video a lot of the same settings as YouTube and Vimeo you can check out the other tutorial up above where I show you how to use these guys the YouTube and Vimeo daily motion be a lot the same self-hosted is a video that's right on your server right on your site that's not the best place to have your videos because you're using your own bandwidth but if it's just a short video it doesn't harm much but now you can include those videos with this new Elementor the very last thing uh, well the second last thing actually is for images there is now CSS filters so let's add an image here pick one from the media library let's take this young lady right here if we go over to style we have a new CSS filters option click on the pencil and now you can do things like blur the image change the brightness change the contrast change the saturation then you have an image that's unrecognizable once you've made those changes there's another new feature where it connects Elementor to the WP command line interface that's way too advanced for most average users so I'm not going to get into that in this video but it allows you to do some pretty advanced stuff it's it's important if you're a developer but for 99% of the users of Elementor the command line feature is not that relevant but if you want me to make a video on those things and what Elementor has added to the command line just let me know in the comments down below and I can make that 
If you're wondering how I was able to show you these new features of Elementor, even though it's not been released yet, I was using the beta version of Elementor. And anybody, I believe you have to have a pro version of the plugin, but anybody who has a pro version can also see the beta releases whenever they want. And I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial that I linked to up above, and you get a jump start on the new Elementor features before they're even live to the general public. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon. Get on the Elementor waiting list in the description down below if that interests you. And next up is checking out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.